You're watching WMAR 2 News. There's new information about a woman who was killed earlier this month after she was thrown down a flight of stairs. I'm Megan Knight and this is your WMAR 2 News update. Baltimore police say they've arrested this man, Demetric Lewis. He's the cousin of the victim who's now been identified as Shinlet Lewis. Investigators say this all happened at a home on North Curley Street in East Baltimore last week. It was the city's 40th murder of 2022. Shinlet Lewis was taken to the hospital, but she died two days later. Demetric Lewis is now charged with first degree murder. Marylanders have another chance to win some money by getting a booster shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. Governor Larry Hogan announcing that he is bringing back the vaccine lottery, calling it Vax Cash 2.0. This time it's for people to get that booster shot. The lottery will be running for the next 12 weeks with one winner being drawn each week and that'll start next Tuesday. The first prize will be half a million dollars. The following weeks will be $50,000 prizes and then the final grand prize of $1 million. And taking a look at our COVID numbers today, less than 1,100 Marylanders are currently in the hospital with the virus, which is down 67 people in the last update from the State Department of Health. The positivity rate, that's also now below 5.5%. 40 more Marylanders have died from COVID-19. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. It's such a great day today because it's National Pizza Day. It's going to be a wonderful afternoon to get outside, soak up some of that sunshine and chow down on some nice yummy pizza. Temperatures climb into the low to mid 50s, so some of us will be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. And temperatures also look to stay above normal even as we head overnight. The culprit for the mild temperatures are actually are winds. They're primarily out of the south. They are going to stay that way throughout the rest of the afternoon and also into the evening with frequent gusts around 20 to even 25 miles per hour. We will start to deal with some clouds increasing from west to east as we head overnight into tomorrow morning. A few sprinkles can't be ruled out north and west of I-95, but it's going to be very quick hitting. And then we are looking at a mainly dry start to your Thursday, keeping mild temps around as we wrap up the work week and heading into the upcoming weekend. Rain and snow possible for Sunday. Yeah, Saturday's looking good. Thank you, Stevie. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates to your stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2news app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.